Hi, I'm welcoming you in SmartBird Talks, where we are discussing exciting and trending topics with software testing experts. This video is part of Inside Ready API uh, video series, where we are continuing introducing the Ready API team to all of you so that you could learn the team better and learn how uh, the product is created. And today we will talk about one of the most important parts of the product, it's uh, documentation. I'm sure that many of you read uh, documentation articles or followed the tutorials uh, to set up uh, your projects. Uh, and today uh, you have a great opportunity to learn how these articles were created. Uh, please meet Alexander Linkov and Mitri Terentiev, our Ready API technical writers. And today we will talk with uh, them and learn all the secrets of the Ready API documentation. Hi guys, how are you today? Hi Tatiana, I'm um, thanks. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm fine too. Hope you're doing fine. Thanks, guys, for your willingness to share uh, your knowledge with the Ready API community. We appreciate it. Uh, could you please start with uh, a short background? Uh, where are you from? Uh, why did you decide to be a technical writer? And what exactly do you do for SmartBay at the moment? Uh, Alexander, do you mind if we start with you? Yeah, of course. Uh, well, um, I graduated from Tulsa State University as a process engineer uh, and then worked sometimes uh, in machine works. Uh, also, I learned Java programming uh, because I wanted to move to IT. Uh, and likely, a smart bear was looking for a technical writer at that time. And uh, this was very interesting to me because I like to learn new things uh, and explain these things to people. Uh, so I applied for the role and got it. And now I work on documentation for the Red API, test engine, and the uh, server. Okay, great. Uh, that's uh, so interesting background. Uh, Dmitry, uh, how about you? Well, I come from Tula State University too, but I actually majored in linguistics. And later I used the uh, online resources to study coding and then applied uh, for the technical writer position in SmartBear. And I've been working here for three years already. Okay, so so great. It's uh, it's so unique, uh, or maybe not unique in our world at the moment. But uh, uh, you both uh, came to IT from the different areas, right? You educated yourself on your own, and you learned other stuff from scratch. Uh, what resources did you use, or do you continue educating yourself? As for me, I started with some books for beginners and taking courses. Uh, on platforms online like uh, Udemy, Pluralsight, Coursera, and so on. Uh, I still use them when I wanted to learn some subject to be deeper. Uh, beside them, I can say that I often use uh, search in Google uh, mm -hmm. because uh, it's <laughs> very helpful resource when you uh, find some difficulties, uh, face some difficulties, and try to find solution. And uh, also, uh, our developers are always glad to help me with some tricky question. Okay, great, uh, yeah. Dmitry. Yeah, and by the way, a great way of boosting your knowledge of Ready API is to take courses in our own service, the Smart Bear Academy. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for mentioning the Smart Bear Academy. Um, this is a great resource uh, where our customers can uh, learn uh, Ready API from scratch by using different type of the courses. It's a live class or on-demand class, and there are many courses for different skill levels. So yeah, great. Um, come to Academy and uh, enroll in the courses you like. Um, Returning to the documentation parts, uh, uh, I've got that being a technical writer is not easy. <laughs> you need to learn a lot all the time, but I'm sure there is, should be something that you enjoy doing the most uh, during your day-to-day -day work. Uh, so what is it? What is the most rewarding part of your of your work? <laughs> Getting silly, you know? <laughs> I'm joking, yeah. To be serious, I like explaining difficult things to other people. And when I finished one more tutorial or instruction, I like to think that it will help our customers to do their day-to-day job. Yeah, and for me, probably it's publishing the work to the production website, because it's nice to think that you might help someone with their problem, be it a current problem or a problem in the future. Or, or and it's nice to fix uh, an issue that bugged the, the documentation readers for a while. 
Yeah, great. Uh, thanks, thanks for this. Uh, let's take a look at the documentation a bit deeper. Uh, can you please describe uh, the process, uh, how your team creates ready API documentation? And I believe that the biggest part of these uh, of your work it takes maintaining the articles that already exist. So could you please share some uh, information about this? Yeah, you are right. Uh, maintaining is a very big uh, part of our job. But in general, uh, it's quite a big question, you know, uh, because the process uh, depends on actually a task. And uh, in general, uh, I start with gathering information, yeah, try try new feature, or when we get uh, negative feedback, I try to understand what is wrong with it uh, and how I can improve it. Uh, then I think about the best way uh how to share the, uh this thing yeah and uh, finally make it yeah describe the feature or improve existing topics and also um if uh, the task is quite big uh, i often ask Dmitry to review uh, the result uh it's uh, can be very helpful because uh, i can for example miss some details that seem obvious to me and uh, Dmitry uh give me this feedback that uh to fix it before it was published. Yeah. yeah, and well, another thing we try to do is to maintain a feedback loop. So users leave feedback uh, on our doc pages, and then we analyze it, log uh, issues, and uh, try to fix them. So if you do find something that is unclear or incorrect in the docs, please leave us feedback uh, because we are yeah. always uh, eager to get more of that. And uh, if, if, if something is actually helpful, don't hesitate to hit that like button so we know what works and what does work. Okay, great. Uh, so yeah, uh, getting uh, feedback is so important. Uh, I agree with you. Uh, you mentioned that, uh, Dmitry, you mentioned that you're working in the company for three years. Uh, uh, Alexander, how many years uh, have you been working uh, in the company? Uh, well, uh... For about eight years, I believe. Eight years. Okay, it's 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 personal <laughs> life. Uh, so, and I believe during this yeah. time, uh, you work not only on the Ready API documentation, right? Uh, you created articles for different uh, smart bird tools. Are there any specifics uh, to create uh, the articles for Ready API? Yes, you're right. Uh, before switching to Ready API, I worked on documentation for Test Complete, AQ Time, and some other products. And you know, uh, the documentation process in, uh, in general is quite similar. You learn feature and describe it for users. Uh, but of course, there are specifics. If we compare with UI testing tool, uh, web service do not have it, uh, don't have a UI. And to test APIs, you know, send requests and analyze responses. And uh, you should uh, understand how different protocol works uh, and API specification and so on. So there are a lot of specifics uh, comparing to other uh, testing tools. <laughs> okay, great. It's interesting. Dmitry, what do you think about this? Uh, well, yeah, to add to that, uh, I'd say that keeping up with new technologies and protocols is a big thing because yeah. the world of uh, the API development is uh, ever changing and uh, you have to know what's going on in the business, especially when Ready API starts supporting new technologies like uh, with Kafka recently. Uh, okay, that's uh, that's interesting. And uh, do you think that uh, if you need to always keep in mind about all of these new technologies uh, in API world, uh, do you think that creating Ready API articles it's uh, more difficult in comparison with articles, for example, you know, for task complete? Uh, no, you know. Test complete has its own specifics, and uh, it's also quite difficult task to uh, maintain the, this documentation, uh, describe new features, uh, and uh, they have uh, their own specifics, and uh, they are different, but also very interesting. Okay, I got it. That's an, an, another yeah. story. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, I, I see. And um, could you please? Uh, do you keep in mind any maybe uh, ready API release um, that uh, you spend a lot of time or maybe you created so many articles for that release? Uh, can you rec recollect uh, that, that that version? Hmm, this, it's an interesting question. You know, um, 
there are so many releases these days that uh, I can't remember a particular one. But uh, I remember the first release of Red API test engine. Uh, it was a new product, and we created documentation from scratch, and it was very challenging. And as for Red API releases, um, I would name Red API 3.0, uh, mostly because it introduces extended support for GraphQL services. But also, this version united all models into the navigator tree, and uh, it became much easier to work with uh, the project. Uh, and yeah, yeah, very interesting release. Yeah, for me, the most memorable one is the Red API 3.0, hands down, because it was such a major UI overhaul that we had to update like. Uh, 95% of all the screenshots we have, and we have a lot of them. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's huge. I can I can imagine imagine this. Uh, if we start talking about the Red API features uh, for who for those uh, you're creating the articles, uh, can you say if you have any Red API features you like the most? Well. Um... There are so many handy features in the tool, uh, and it's hard to choose the one. Uh, but I believe that the driven testing is the most exciting one for me. Uh, I like to create a single test case and then feed it with different data and see how a service will handle it. That's great. Yeah, for me, I would say that uh, integrations with ICD systems uh, are my favorite one because uh, it's just uh, in the current world, it's just so convenient that you can run Red API tests in your Jenkins or your Azure DevOps uh, as a part of your delivery pipeline. And uh, it's very easy to do with Red API and its plugins too. Okay, yeah, it, all, it opens more doors, right? Yeah, and uh, it speed up, speeds, up, speeds up the delivery. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so thanks a lot uh, for this uh, great interview. Thanks for your time, uh, for sharing this information with the Ready API community. Uh, so community, if you have any questions to our uh, great uh, documentation team, please uh, uh, leave them in uh, our comments and we will pass uh, your question to, to guys so that they could answer. So thank you, Alexander, Dimitri, for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Stay safe. Bye. Goodbye.